if you think you're seeing things, let me tell you something. You are. We've just dropped in for a visit to Command Aircraft Corporation here in Bloomfield, Connecticut, creators of the first pilotless helicopter. Now, according to this letter that I have from Bob Klein of Syracuse, New York, he writes, a strange new sight has been added to the long list of American aeronautical achievements. A helicopter drone where radio signals have replaced the need for a pilot has been developed by the command company. Because its potentials are unlimited, I think this is a natural story for you ask for it. Okay, Bob, let's take a closer look. First, I'd like to point out one thing. Because of CAA restrictions on pilotless aircraft over populated areas, such as our test area right here, the drone must be tethered at all times. Now, as you can see, there are no control wires. Just this piece of rope to keep it within bounds. And over here is the amazingly simple control unit. Hello, Bob Mack. Hello, Jack. I'd like you to meet Charlie Command, the president and founder of our company. Mr. Command, it's a pleasure. Hi, Jack. Say, I think this is a great machine that you've developed here. I imagine it has a lot of uses. Well, it certainly does. We're highly enthusiastic about the future potential of the robot, Jack. You know, in military world, the robot being able to deliver weapons on enemy submarines is a truly great innovation. But it can also be used for spotting artillery, reconnaissance, photography. And then there's that area of chemical and radioactive warfare where a robot can go into contaminated areas and do very well. Do you know the truly most amazing thing about this device is that anybody can fly it. How about you? Would you like to try? I give my eye teeth to. Bob Mac, you take over. The moment I release the stick, a conventional helicopter can take over radio control. Yes, a high-flying control station that allows the drone maximum flying range. Now an airborne operator is in complete charge. control panel radios commands to the pilotless copter just as we did from the ground. The robot can stay in flight for two hours and with the restraining rope released, rise to 15,000 feet. Control switching from ground to air or to other ground stations as it moves from one area to another. The command pilotless helicopter is a joint Army and Navy project and here we'll see one of its many practical values using television by remote control. Yes, the Telescout, the Army Signal Corps TV camera, is installed in the nose of the robot. Its purpose? A revolutionary means of battlefield surveillance. Aerial reconnaissance without risking the life of a pilot. On the screen in the mobile monitoring truck, we see everything that the TV camera sees from the pilotless copter. Five years of development and research has made the drone helicopter a true jack of all trades. Its potential is unlimited. It can seek out targets, lay smoke screens and communication wires, save lives by flying into radioactive areas to determine if they're safe for the entry of personnel, even assist in firefighting. Yes, without a pilot, it can even pick up messages from advanced troops, relay them to receiving stations behind the lines, like these National Guardsmen here. Looks like they have some information to pass along on behalf of the Command Aircraft Company. Now, keep an eye on the screen. We'll read them any minute. Get the message, Bob Klein? You asked for it. 